Hey guys, this is Lois with Geek Up in here with our showdown between the epic Lumia 925 and the standard Lumia 810 for Nokia. And of course, I have played with, used, and tested the Lumia 925 for about a week or so. Now it's time to battle against the Lumia 810. Alright, so we all know that they both are running Windows Phone 8, but the Lumia 925 has a bit much in store. For example, when you lock the screen, it will turn off and then fade back on while displaying a time and some other status icons, which is very helpful and useful. The best part of it is that it don't drain down your battery as fast like other phones. Cough, cough, Android. Even though the Lumia 925 is thin and sexy, it weighs about 5 ounces compared to the lightweight Lumia 810 that comes in about 4 ounces. Either way, they both are light and easy and lightweight to carry around with you in your pockets, skinny jeans, or whatever pants you have on. Now, when it comes to layout, they both feature the same design, such as a volume rocker, a camera button, and a lock slash power key on the right side of the devices. They will never ever change. Personally, I like my smartphone with some little style, not only with the design, but also the colors. The Lumia 925 is offered in black, white, and gray, while the A10 is only available in um, black. That sucks for the A10, don't it? And yes, the Lumia 925 is packing a 4.5 inch display with while the A10 is not too far behind what is 4.3 inch display. Both are AMOLED capacitive touchscreens, so don't worry. That means that the Lumia 925 display is packing a resolution of 768 by 1280 pixels compared to the Lumia A10's resolution of 480 by 800 pixels. A very, very big difference. And yes, size does matter. Yeah. All right, here's a quick question. You know what means better and what is right? A bigger screen and less battery. No, you're wrong because the Lumia 925 has a talk time of 18 hours compared to the 10 hours with the 810. And yes, the standby time is longer as well. The Lumia 925 features a 2000 milliamp battery while the 810 only has a small 1800 milliamp battery, both available to use wireless charging with the dock. And guess what? You won't miss any speed with the hardware since they both feature and support a dual core Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Plus processor with 1024 megabytes of RAM, but the Lumia 925 only have 16 gigabytes of internal storage, while the 810 only has 8 gigabytes of internal storage, but it also supports a micro SD card up to 32 gigabytes. All right, turn down the lights. Let's talk about the cameras now. The 925 takes the lead with the 8.7 megapixel rear facing camera with the dual LED, while the 810 holds up with an 8 megapixel rear facing camera with LED flash. Both packing a resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels and both have a 1.2 megapixel front facing camera. So at the end of the day, it all depends on what you want in specs and hardware. Plus, if you have a couple hundred dollars to spend and blow off, then the Lumia 925 is for you. But if you're on a budget and want to save some money, then the Lumia 810 is for you. Find a guide on a website and purchase these products via the link description under this video. Until next time, have a great day.